Welcome to Alien Sunday, and I take it you've seen the thumbnail. <laughs> you remember a long time ago I said how I would absolutely love to own this. Bam! The Necker Power Loader P5000 Deluxe Vehicle. So yeah, I took the plunge, I managed to get one off eBay. I uh, made a guy an offer, had a bit of damage to it, only slight damage to the box. And um, I got it, and I will say an okay price, it is a really stupidly expensive thing now. But I'm happy I got it. And yes, have a look. It looks awesome. P5000 Deluxe Vehicle. And a power loader. It has a Ripley inside it. Guess what we don't have? A Ripley to put in it. Power loader accommodates most 6 to 7 inch figures sold separately. And oh, look. The other side without anyone in it. The top, where she's fighting the Queen, and of course, saw the Queen in a video a month or so back. Necker, real toys. One in Choking Hazard, ages 17 and up. Figures sold separately. And then we look at the bottom. Aliens, 20th Century Fox Necker, real toys, 2015, really? Didn't think it was that old. Randy Falk, and the other cool guys. Barcode for you barcode peddlers, not three side onions, and recyclable bits. So I bought this to display, so <laughs> let's open the box. Which is a common thing, because for the first year and a half I didn't open anything. So, here we go. That is a lot of wires. No, no paperwork. It comes with, well, let's take the plastic off. Um, obviously, a set of hands and two strut pipes, which must be the aerials. That, oops, sorry, which must be the aerials that go on the back. So you can tell they haven't been used. But let's take it out. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Um, yeah, what's that? That's just something to protect bits and bobs. Uh, Wow, that's a crazy amount of wiring. Necker have definitely outdone themselves here. So uh, it's just a shame that I haven't got a poxy Ripley to put in it. I'd like to have tried. So these must move. Yep, there we go. So they open the full way. Yep, right, so this clearly isn't up straight. So let's make it straight. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to break it. Oh, that's better. That looks like the power loader now. Let's bring the camera down a little bit. Nope, that's up, Cliff. You've been doing this for many years now. You don't need to, you should know how to do the camera. And, uh, yeah, right, so... The feet detail is absolutely stunning. Amazing. Amazeballs. And, yeah, these basically movies just... Use a little bit of pressure, not too much. And um, bits her feet go in, which is a soft material. She's got the old uh, sticks for her hands to go on. And I take it this just probably this just pops up. And uh, hmm, so how does? Oh, it's all that. So that pops forward. That looks complicated. <laughs> oh, there we go. So the front part pops off, and then do it. This <laughs> it's like that part pops off. Right, yeah. So it comes into three sections, which is, of course would be good to put Ripley. And I've heard that it's quite actually hard to get Ripley in here um, to sit nice and snugly. I mean, that detail. It is absolutely stunning. It's like you could all move all push bits. N1725. And, uh, yeah, just look at that. Look how convoluted and everything that looks. I love the way they've weathered it. It's really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, the uh, little. Okay. Right, there was a cobweb in him. At some point, there's been a spider living in this box. 
but obviously just line up and it goes in like so and the aerials must go on the back will it stand up on its own or will it not hmm yeah, let's lay it on its back for a second and let's pin this up so really, really, I'm going to keep the hands in here for now because obviously I have to try and find a rip pit at some other point and uh, pop her in there and of course these things are now going to make it too tall to fit in the display cabinet we shall see alright da 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 and so we get in the camera we have the aerial hole there and there and uh, yeah so one side's quite a bit more weathered than the other but well, there we go I mean that is yeah as I said it wasn't cheap it wasn't cheap at all but it's been like one of my most number one wanted items I mean if NECA was to blow the bank what I would really love them to do is in the scale of the figures to release like an APC and a dropship how amazing would that be? I know like Aoshima and other companies like that have released them, but they're not in the proper scale to fit the figures. But I think it would just be, just be amazing. I mean, she is, this figure is really top heavy, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get to stand up. So, <laughs> go on. Go on, you know you want to. And I don't think it's going to. So, with the hand of the piece of plastic box, which will lean behind her, there we go. So, am I happy with the purchase? 100% yes. Um, I think a few things they could have done to improve it would have been pop a battery somewhere so that that light up there actually lights up. And, uh, oh, make it a remote control, that would be awesome. But that's obviously not going to happen. But... Yeah, that is really, really cool. Um, back in the day, there was a company that made one. I did buy one many, many years ago, and it was, it was die-cast. I can't remember the company. I had to import it from America. Back when a whole die-cast thing, the same sort of size, was £8 to post with no customs. But the problem that I had with it is these pipes here were always broken. They were always snapping off. Really. And for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the company that did them. It was really cool. But it wasn't, definitely wasn't up to the scale of this, but it was full die cast and it was really heavy. But I say it had the issues of the pipe snapping and some of it had been broken in the box. Which of course NECA are known for releasing figures that have got like broken bits in the box and so forth. And uh, right, has he's touched it and made it move now. I'm an idiot. Right, stop. I just wanted to show you the hands they give you. Look, the alternate hands so they obviously catch onto the um, control. <laughs> it's standing again. So like that. So um, yeah, you put both hands on controls and they'll fit on there. I don't even have a figure that's not in the box to put in there just to try it. The only thing I've got is the Pred Alien, and of course the Corporal Hicks from um, the movie Maniacs, but they ain't gonna fit in there. So I'd have to look on eBay for like a you know Ripley only, see what they go for, just to make it look complete because it looks nice. But it's definitely lacking a Ripley. Definitely lacking a Ripley. So there we go. The NECA Aliens Power Loader P5000 Deluxe Vehicle. Get away from her, you bitch.